Hey again, we are here at the Houston, Texas Micro Center and uh, we're ready to film another episode of Gear Up. We're also about to be run over in this parking lot. Now remember, Micro Center wants you to know that if you're a new customer, you can save $25 off your purchase of a new CPU and it doesn't matter if it's an Intel one or an AMD one. And if you're not feeling a pre-built, you can always swing back to the build your own section or you can even have Micro Center build your PC for you thanks to the guys up front. Now this is our third day going, so I need a little bit of energy to get us through. This is actually the last day we'll be here and we have two more showing up for this season. I don't even remember what the systems look like because uh, we had these folks apply a few weeks ago. So uh, it's gonna be new to me, just like it'll be new for you guys. Are you ready? Stay with us. The Antec P20C is a beautiful mid-tower PC case fitted with a massive metal mesh front panel, three premium fans, and loads of additional hardware support. Install both a 360mm AO up top and up front simultaneously, or up to 3140s up front, take your pick. Each case includes USB 3.2 Type-C support, plenty of rubber grommets, cable tie points, and more for an ultra-clean build that doesn't sacrifice in the way of function. You can even fit oversized dual CPU motherboards in here for a crazy workstation build. Choose between the white variant with matching white cables and hardware and the black ARGB variant with three ARGB fans and hub included. The Antec P20C is the one you don't want to get away, so consider it for your next PC build. I've already followed through. Learn more by clicking the links below. All right, so let's get to it and look who just walked in. Mr. Alejandro, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. So we have yeah. uh, a fairly old rig here. Could you tell me just a bit about it? So it's a Ryzen 5 2600X. I have a ASRock 6600, Asus B450M motherboard, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, a couple SSDs. And how long ago did you build the rig? Around three or four years ago. Three or four years ago? Okay, yeah. do you know how much you spent roughly on it? 700. 700, okay, not bad. It's possible you win that or more just from spinning today's wheel. Right, so we have a decent starting position and I think there's certainly things in this rig that we could recycle depending on the budget. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get that wheel set up. Uh, unfortunately, Alejandro, I don't have the big 36 inch wheel that you probably oh. saw in season one. But uh, I do have it on my laptop and we modified it just a little bit. So this is our wheel and you'll notice there's something slightly different. We've got prices anywhere from $600 up to 1200. Where is that somewhere? There it is, the red tile. And instead of the spin again tiles that we had in season one, we've got add 100. Mm -hmm. So if you land on that, you'll spin again and add 100 bucks obviously to whatever you spin after. And I will disclose that most people have scored somewhere around seven or 800 bucks. I don't okay. know why nobody's scored higher than that. So uh, maybe you can finally break the cycle. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and click with the mouse, that center spin button, and we'll see what happens. Ooh, oh, okay. All right, we are off to a good start. Wow. Oh, wow. nice. So that would be, my friend, $1,000. Finally, someone breaks the $800 barrier, Josh. It's not rigged anymore. See, we didn't rig it. I told you guys. So uh, let's get to parts hunting, shall we? Sure, sure. I think the CPU probably, because it's pretty old, and then it's always the graphics card. There we go. Yeah. There we go. We got it out the of them. Both of those things are totally doable. With $1,000, you got plenty of space and plenty of options. Uh, we got the 12700K one there, 349 for a CPU, motherboard, and RAM. So you'll switch over to the new uh, DDR5 memory. Same goes for the 13700K. You get a one generation better motherboard with this bundle, though. And you get two 16 gig sticks here, whereas with the 12700K one, you only get one of those, okay? Um, so that guy really good at 549. The 7700X bundle is really good as well. Same amount of RAM comes with it. And a similarly quality motherboard as well. Do you have a preference for Intel or AMD? Oh. What, uh, what are you currently on again? It's Intel? Team Red. Team, oh, team, oh, you have an AMD CPU. Yeah. Does a bundle entice you? Do you want to like upgrade to the latest and greatest or do you want to keep it kind of chill and dump more money into the graphics card? I mean, this is the age old question. There's a lot of possibilities here, a lot of angles you could take. Could maybe balance everything out and okay. have a platform and a GPU. Ooh, and even looking at the 5600 for 120 bucks, pair that with a $100 motherboard, maybe an open box one here on this shelf, and uh, you could have upwards of, what, $720-ish for a nicer graphics card and a power supply upgrade. I mean, 600 bucks on a graphics card after the power supply is taken into account, it's like, 
what, uh, 40, 70? Yeah, 40, 70, 40, somewhere, yeah, somewhere around there. So it's a matter of if you want to scale back CPU performance a bit for a better graphics card, or do you want a better platform, better CPU performance for a slightly weaker graphics card? Uh, Again, another age old question. I have a feeling we're not making this any easier for you. <laughs> no, we're, giving, we're giving them too many options. Yeah, that's it. Too, Welcome to Micro options. Center. That's, that's what it'll do. <laughs> yep. Would it be possible to not get a motherboard and save some money? What do you have currently? The B450M. B450M? Oh, I didn't, yeah. I didn't even realize mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, actually, so you could just upgrade the BIOS. And Isaiah, do you guys have a, a service to upgrade motherboard BIOSes before uh, customers uh, yeah. put in so new chips? Yeah, so our uh, service department uh, does that for us. Um, uh, so you can take uh, any build that you have, you can take up to the knowledge bar up there in the front, and then they will do that for you. Super helpful, guys. They're also a lot smarter than we are. So we <laughs> Well, that's good to know that. So they've got the uh, $120 CPU, we're using the motherboard, we're using our RAM. We've got a 599 graphics card that does have an, uh, that's, is that accounting for the discount that he's getting on the? Uh... Yeah, so 650 went down to 599. Perfect, mm -hmm. okay. And then the power supply is an RM850E for 130, so that puts us at $849. So really you've got $150 more to spend. Could I, could I maybe fit a slightly better CPU and then? Oh. Yeah, for sure, we can show, we can show your CPU up. Hey, what you doing up there? Oh, cool, oh no, it's graphics card. Cool. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, is this the, the reference model? Indeed. Oh, nice, there you go. Yeah. These aren't too bad either. My favorite part of the store right here. 15800X. Very good. CPU cooler time. I think this here. There it is. Oh. <laughs> hey, somebody might somebody might have hidden that because they wanted to come back again. <laughs> Probably. And now, look what you did, Alejandro. Look it's what okay. you did. Uh, I'll carry this one, I got it. <laughs> got a nice stack there, my friend. Last chance here. Anything you want to change, swap out? You happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> no hesitations, none of that? No, 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 no doubts? No. He <laughs> says that with like no. the no. least amount of confidence I've ever heard. Hey, uh, you brought your credit card, right? Uh, you, no. You didn't bring a credit card? No. Hey, uh, Isaiah, we might have a problem. What's up? He didn't bring his credit card. Uh oh. Now, who'll get a uh, copy of what, Resident Evil 4 with this? Since it's a, since it's a new card, so yeah, it Resident Evil 4, not too bad. I'm good at the scaredy cats. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first is prepping the current case. We'll be recycling that along with a few other components. And uh, so Alejandro is reaching in there, unplugging a few things. We're gonna be replacing that power supply. And uh, you said you already updated the BIOS in this motherboard yep. to the latest stable. So that is perfect. That means it'll just be plug and play with that 5800X. It's, uh, it's hooked on the bottom. The bottom of that. A, yeah, yeah, you have to like pull it. There you there go. go. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's that's happened before. I think it's okay though. <laughs> I hope I hope it's okay. Working on the graphics card next. And for those who don't know, obviously, since this is Alejandro's rig, he has a choice. If he wants to work on it himself, that is totally his right. So uh, we always give them a choice when they when they come in. When's the last time you uh, worked around PCs? Was it when you built this? Yep. So yeah, a few years ago. So yeah, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of a refresher. The old BQ making its way out. There she is. I love how they put like the plastic there. Like yeah, you would get yeah. a cooler <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if we if we wanted to give you one. All this extra. Not that you'd want to use something that small for that, but uh, no, the Dark Rock Four will do just fine with what you've got now. Retention arm going down. Very good. Like riding a bike, right, Alejandro? Yep. Also, just enough clearance from a high perspective in this case. Can you explain to us in great detail how annoyed you are at these wireframe clips? <laughs> My patience is wearing very thin. <laughs> now, we've cleaned up some things down below, run these cables through their channels. We've got the fans wired in. We've got the cooler set up. We've got the power supply in, along with their cables, 24 pin, and I can't see that, or the 8 pin up top there. Last up is 6950XT. That's a good looking card right there. Key in there. You got it? I think so. Just connecting power then, and we'll be ready to turn this thing on. Um, hopefully it hopefully it works. I think it's gonna work. Well, you're not building it, so yeah. I swear to God, I swear to God, Josh. Which cable is it? Oh, it's that one. Yeah, it's yeah. in there. Is that better? Uh, yeah. And uh, I think, Alejandro, we are ready to power on. This turned out really well. I really like a stealthy black build and the upgrades, I think, complement the case nicely. The fact that we didn't need to upgrade the motherboard, you already planned ahead and yep. upgraded the BIOS. That was super cool of you. Did you have a, did you have a, a you know, sneaking little plan that you were gonna be on with the 5800X? Uh, Something like that you want to stay with like Zen 3 because you didn't want to have to swap platform. I mean, that's smart, if so. And you planned ahead with that yeah. BIOS upgrade too, so. It worked out. You definitely saved us some money and you could throw more of it into the graphics card. I mean, 6950 XT, like, holy cow. That's a big jump from a 6600. 
So, uh, all right, I think we are ready now to power it on for the first time again, make sure that things post. So, crossing everything I got, I know I am. Alejandro, go ahead and uh, do the honors. Power at the rear. We've got power up front. Did I press it? Did, did you press it? One of you is doing this, I know one of you. I didn't touch that, okay? I don't, every time that strip is off. Okay, does it look like it's on now? <laughs> there is our post. And uh, now since you upgraded your CPU, obviously um, it's gonna probably better reinstall some drivers and yeah. things, but you stuck with AMD. Um, and so you shouldn't notice any huge driver conflicts or performance losses. Typically when you switch between AMD and Intel on the same boot device, you could have some issues, but uh, here I think you'll be fine. Wow, one thing I immediately noticed, this rig is pretty darn quiet. The case fans are a bit loud. Of course you can calibrate that in yep. your BIOS, but uh, the CPU cooler is of course quiet. Not really a really surprise there. So what a way to end this episode of Gear Up. Really happy with the way it turned out. How do you think it, uh, how do you think it looks? Amazing. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, what's your favorite part about it? Graphics card. The graphics card, that's what <laughs> I was gonna say too. Yep, no, I'm uh, actually, I think it's really cool that you allocated a lot of your budget to that card. And if you're gonna be gaming, I think that will pay dividends in the long run. So uh, with that, I wanna thank all of you for watching and Alejandro, I appreciate you coming out. Thank you. And uh, hopefully it, uh... did you just try to like do like rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> oh my